So today I'm gonna take the Storyteller out on the road with the big competition boat. I'm looking for how well does it tow at high speed. And then also I wanna see how well it stops. How well does the, uh, how well does it stop a lot of weight? Just as important as going fast and being able to go up incline, we gotta know how well this thing does stopping a three ton boat or two ton boat or 3,000 pound boat. I don't know, we need to look up the specs of how much I actually weigh. So I don't know the exact specs on this particular Sprinter van that I'm driving, but all I have to do is go to the all-knowing Google and Google Storyteller Overland, and I'm gonna go right to the website and pull up the exact specs on the entire vehicle. The particular van that I have is called the Stealth. There it is right there. You can see it, the Stealth Mode 4x4. There's a lot of information on here about what's in it and all that stuff that's not really relevant to this video. We're most interested in specs on this particular outing. So we'll go to weights and measurements and it'll give you a lot of information about the particular van. So you can see it's 20 foot long, it's 10 foot high. There's a lot of other stuff on here that uh, probably just doesn't really matter when it comes to towing a bass boat. What's really important for us is the GVWR, that's how much we can tow, as well as the diesel fuel capacity, 24.5 gallons. You can go down, you can see there's a lot of other tabs that tell you about the interior, exterior, energy system, which is basically what powers the van, all the other stuff that you guys should go check out in your own time. But we want to go to the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, and we're going to learn a little bit about the engine on that particular tab, which is most important. This is a 3.0 liter turbo diesel. All right, pretty important. Now, let's go to my boat website. I'm not really sure exactly how much my boat weighs, so we'll go to Falcon, falconbassboats.com. We'll go to the models. My particular boat is the F-20 Predator, which is basically the same thing as the F-205. It's the exact same hole. It's really only trimming. So you can see when you look at my boat, it weighs 1,800 and it looks like 90 pounds. So it's right at 2,000 pounds. You gotta add the trailer. That's just the dry weight. You can see my fuel capacity is 50 gallons. Uh, live well capacity, 34 gallons and max horsepower is 250. So you would have to add up everything. When you start to add fuel and you start to add the trailer and everything, we're probably pushing somewhere around 4,000 pounds or more for a boat and trailer package. I'm kind of excited to see this myself. I'm not really sure how it's all gonna work out and if I'm really gonna be satisfied with how it's gonna tow my uh, competition rig. But to be completely honest, when you look at the weights between my aluminum boat and my competition boat, be surprised, the weights are pretty close. It's not that much heavier. The tongue height right off the bat was just right. I didn't have to have any kind of special hitch or anything, but you can see it, uh, I think the package, you know, once you kind of get the, the two together, it, it, it packages out really good. You don't see a lot of squat in the back of the RV or anything like that. Like it, it uh, obviously just first off, it seems to handle the weight pretty good. So let's do a road test and see exactly how good this thing's really gonna tow a competition rig. feels completely normal when I'm driving 0 to 55, 60 mile an hour. Don't really notice much difference. It pulls just fine. Only thing, uh, you won't be able to tell the difference of what you're really pulling until you get around 70 miles an hour. Uh, 70 miles an hour and going up an incline or going down an incline. Just as important as how something, how well something pulls is how well something stops. So the brakes seem to be able to handle a big competition, you know, pretty good. In my opinion, stopping is really more important than how well the, the thing pulls. That was uh, definitely a concern for me. I wasn't sure how well the brake system, when you drive a three quarter ton truck, everybody talks about the power, they talk about the suspension, but the most important thing for me is braking. How well does it handle braking? This it seems to handle braking really well so far. Now, obviously today is not raining or it's not wet outside, so we don't really know what we're dealing with until you get on a slick surface. So 
check this out. This is one thing that I really thought was cool with the uh, Storyteller. You see, I got two cameras. Just about every truck has a tailgate camera, but I got a whole overview camera so I can look at the top of the vehicle. This really helps when you're backing out of parking spaces and uh, even when you're around boat ramps, like backing out of a, a, like a tight boat slip, you can see the vehicles around you, all right? Like on left and right of you. That's really important to keep you from hitting stuff, especially in the dark. Like this even works at, at nighttime too. But then I got a camera over here that where I can see, like I can see my entire boat. Typically on a truck tailgate camera, all you see is the front of the boat. You don't really get any perspective, but you can see, like I can see all the way back to the back of my, my engine and as I'm backing up, I can back out of my driveway and make sure I don't hit anything. That's, that's pretty, uh, that's a good feature to have right there guys like you can see what you're doing that's what I was mostly worried about with having a big vehicle like this is not being able to see what I'm doing you'll be surprised the wheelbase on this vehicle is only it's actually like an inch shorter than my f-250 so as much you know when you look at this vehicle it kind of looks real big and bulky but the truth is it's not it's not any bigger than your standard truck your standard half-size truck turning radius is uh that's that can that can get you in a lot of trouble if you don't have a good turning radius i'm gonna show you how good this thing turns okay but you'll be able to see i'll be able to cut pretty tight in around the camera guy here all right this thing watch this like i can turn a lot deeper than i really need to turn the good thing about it, my trolling is not hitting the back of the back of the van too. Pretty tight. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. It pulled it pretty good, a lot better than I was expecting. This is only a six cylinder diesel engine, but it just goes to show you that diesel engines really have a lot more torque and they can do a lot more than a gas engine can. So um, I'm impressed. I'm totally impressed with everything about it. You know, obviously it works good for camping. It works good for family. It even works good for pulling a bass boat, a big one, 21 foot bass boat down the road.